Hey, 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 what's up? So, I'm about to bench a little bit, about to have a quick rant. So, I'm on the way to the gym, and I'm talking to one of my boys, and he's like, man, you always going to the gym. I said, yeah. He goes, man, um, you're wasting your time. I'm like, huh? Wait, wasting my time? He goes, yeah. He goes, like, you know, I'll be going to the gym. And I'm not seeing anything. So, I mean, how often you going to the gym? Oh, once, twice, maybe three times a month. Huh? Okay, well, all right. What are you eating? You follow any kind of regimen? You eat? How's your protein intake, man? What's, what are you doing? Oh, I ain't got time for all that, man. I'm busy. Okay. All right, well, you just don't want it. No, no, man, I want to get in shape. Nah, you don't want to get in shape. See, the problem is, there's no magic pill. You can't go in the gym and hit a little leg here, do a little curl there, and expect to see the results that you want to see. I think there's three things that you require to really get in shape. Consistency. You got to keep on it, man. It's like anything else. If you go into the gym on a consistent basis and consistently work out, you have no choice but to transform your body in some way or somehow. Second, intensity. I don't give a damn. Like that. I don't give a damn. If you go in the gym seven days a week, if you in there laddie gagging, checking Facebook, Instagram, texting, you're not gonna see the gains you want to see. And thirdly, you gotta eat. You gotta eat, homie. If you're trying to gain muscle, you gotta feed the muscle. If you're trying to lose weight, you gotta put intensity in that workout and get that heart rate up to burn that fat. See, if you don't want it, I'm cool. That's why it's hard for me to find someone to work out with. Because they be like, damn, what's the rush? There's no rush. When I'm at the gym, I'm at the gym. If I got my phone with me, it's only because I'm streaming Pandora to my headphones. You know what I'm saying? Now, I ain't gonna lie. If I get a text or something, I, I might quickly only because I have responsibilities. But if a shit ain't 911, it can wait. And it's just that simple. You gotta want this, man. When I watch these boys on, on YouTube, I watch Chris Guzman, Chris Jones, BioS3, and these boys, one thing they all have in, 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 in common. When they get into that gym, when they get in that four walls with that iron, it tense. You gotta go at it. You gotta make this motherfucker grow. Like C.T. Fletcher say, you know what I'm saying? To get the sets in. You can... 45 minutes to an hour should be all it requires if you go in there and just really hit it. Just whatever you're doing, hit it. Hit. I'm not saying lift heavy. I'm not saying pick up the whole gym. You can lift light. High reps. Focus on that squeeze, focus on that form, and you will see it, man. You will see it. I tell my boys, man, come to the gym with me. Give me a month. Give me four to five weeks. Give me four to five weeks. Give me three hours. Give me four to five weeks, three hours a week, three days a week. Just give it to me, dude. And, and, and do me a favor. When you go home, no, when you walk in that gym, we there to work out. Whatever body part it is, we're going to hit it to the best of our or your ability. Right? And when you go home, just do me a favor. If you used to eat five donuts a day, just cut it to three. I'm not asking you to change, you don't do too much. Or better yet, do what I do. Do some intimate fasting. Oh, I can't starve myself. I'm looking, no, oh, man, shut up. Just do this. Just do this. All I want you to do. Just 
just try it. You, you what you got to lose? Push your first meal back to, let's say, 4 o'clock every day. 4 o'clock. I want you to eat from 4 to 10. That's 6 hours. So, peep this out. If you stop eating at 10, say you make, and push your carbs to later in the day. So, say, tonight, from 4 to, say, say, all right, say from 4 to 10, you eat. So, from 10 to 4 the next day, how many hours? That's 2, 12, it's like 16, 17 hours that you're not eating. So, you're going fasting. And preferably, I like you to work out at a fasting rate. But during that time, drink some coffee. All right. And if you if you can't make it that long, you can open that window up. So uh, you know. So today, I haven't eaten since ten o'clock last night. But ten o'clock last night, man, I ate. Man, I had me a pound bison burger, asked some sweet potato fries. I had a woo wee. I had a. I even had a milkshake because my maintenance calories for the day is like twenty five hundred. It's hard to eat twenty five hundred calories in a good meal. So I enjoy my food. But anyway, I'm getting off the topic. You gotta want this shit, man. If you don't want this shit, then it ain't gonna happen. So, I can't tell you how many times I, people tell me that I ain't got time for this shit. Look, man, I was I, I work graveyard shift as an engineer. I can take care of my my fiance who has multiple sclerosis. I got four dogs. I got six cats. I got two fish. I'm a professional photographer today, and I run a photo, photo booth business, and I also train. Out of all that, I still get in my workout for my games. I don't want to hear about you no more. If you want it, you'll find it. If you want it, you will make it work. Question is, how bad you want it? Can you see yourself in a new body? Can you see yourself this summer, upcoming summer, at the swim pool, not wearing a, a, a t-shirt because your belly hanging over? Can you see yourself with lower blood pressure or all the benefits that come from being in shape? See, there's a lot of benefits come with getting in shape. A lot of side shit. First of all, you feel better about yourself. First of all, your clothes fit better. First of all, your health increases. You're not so much pressure on them weeds because you're carrying that fat ass thighs around. It's a lot of shit that's positive about working out. You know what? And you love this shit though. Well, you know what? I hate to go to the gym, but when I leave it, I love it. When I'm there, I'm glad I did it. Blood, get pumped. You know what I mean? Now, when I miss a day at the gym, I'm like, I feel bad. I feel guilty. Like, I'm leaving something on the plate. Like, I'm not getting what I should get. See? This, this, this gym shit ain't a hobby. If it's a hobby, find something else. You want a hobby? Go shoot some pool. Go shoot some nine ball. Get some smoke control cars. Do some shit. Because it ain't, it ain't a hobby. It's a lifestyle. So, you ask yourself, how bad, how bad you want it? How bad you want it? You know what I'm saying? Steph Curry don't hit them threes because it just fell out the sky as a natural ability. At practice, he shoots a hundred three pointers in a row. If he missed, guess what? He starts all over from zero. You imagine that shit. He has to hit a hundred three pointers in a row before he even moves on to another skill. So if you shooting a hundred threes and making yourself have to get a hundred percent or a hundred three pointers in a row. Guess what you gonna be good doing? You gonna be good shooting three pointers. He want it. He's actually raised his game to a lower. He's shooting now where it's like, damn, he's probably the best in you know best in the NBA. You know what I mean? So don't think you'll take your uh, Yo, chubby butt in there and do five crunches on get abs. No. Don't think he's going to go in there and, 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 and do five reps of six of 20 pounds and get uh, get some guns. No. But you go in there on consistent, consistent basis and do five reps of six four times a week. 
for six months straight, you start seeing a difference. Intensity, homie. Go get it. Get off your fat ass. Get to somebody, Jim. Go somewhere. Do something. Get moving. Trust me. When you start looking in the mirror, when you start feeling different, and when someone starts seeing that different, you're going to start loving this shit, and ain't going to be no chore no more. It's going to be a lifestyle. And the next thing people be asking you, why you go to the gym all the time? And in return, you can be like, why don't you? This is my rant. I'm just ranting. All right, I'm on my way to the gym, man. And uh, it's me in the car again. And uh, you got questions about intimate fasting or anything like that. Comment below, man. Help me out. I'm trying to get these videos up. Trying to get the subscribers up. Trying to find content. But right now, I'm speaking off the dome.